So I want to talk a little bit today about tarot cards because I have found the tree by learning tarot and wanting to know more about it. Two cards have only been associated with the tree since about the 1880s when the Golden Dawn in England and a group of people started working uh, noticing that there was a similarity. 22 paths on the tree and 22 major arcana led them to place the cards connecting on the pathways between each of the spheres. And the one that has been gripping my life a lot lately is the tower. There are three paths on the tree that lie horizontal, and those are often described as three initiatory experiences. The first one, when you start at the bottom, that you come to is the tower, and it lies between Hode and Netzach. Hode is on the left-hand path, and it is ruled by Mercury. It is science and precision and knowing, definitely. And Netzach lays on the right-hand path, and it is ruled by Venus, and it is art and pleasure and beauty and all of the things that can't be exactly known. So between those two, between art and science, between emotions and the mind, lies the path of the tower, where we are being forced when we come to that path to let go of what we've defined ourselves as, let go of the certainty that everything can be known, and discover, as Shakespeare said, there are more things in heaven and earth ratio than our philosophy has room for, badly paraphrased. So the tower is that place where we have to open up and find more. I often think of the tower as being built first by the four swords and that clear, definite lines, almost as if we are laying the foundation in such rigid and unmovable ways that whatever we create out of that will eventually become something that will outgrow because you can't help being human but to move and grow and breathe. And the tower traditionally was represented by the Tower of Babylon, or Babel, sorry, the Tower of Babel, where the hubris of the human beings to think that they could build a tower so high that they would reach God. And hubris is the greatest vice that you will find with the tower. How much balls do you have? How arrogant are you to think that you could reach God? Or think that you could have created something that will last for the rest of your life? Like a snake, we are all called to shed our skin and to evolve into something bigger and more powerful than we ever dreamed possible. And that's the first initiatory experience, to come to that place where you say, there's more out there. And I'm not sure what it is, but I better get moving because the tower is a place to go to die. It is not a place to live. And that's the first initi initiation, to give up your ego, to stop saying, I know it all, and to start looking not just at the building blocks that you've built your life with, but look at the meaning and the potential that's there. So I invite you all to take a little tower into your life and say, where can I be bigger? Where can I let the ground rumble and wonder erupt in such a way that I can find more? And when you reach that point, you'll have passed your first degree. For more information, Find my website, tarotjane.com, or find me on Facebook, Tarot Jane, or Traveling the Tree with Jane Pierce.